Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is your pal, your friend, Alex. Uh, here with our friend, Anthony. Hi. Anticlimactic. We're back. That's my MO. We're here to react, review, episode three of Heartstopper season three. Episode, that's what it's named, Talk. Talk? Oh, well, the last episode was... Heavy, 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 heavy cream, baby. Comfort Full fat. Oh, oh, don't say that about this episode. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all cancel him. Y'all cancel him. Well, last episode, ED got head on revealed. We yeah. understood that not everyone can he handle everyone's trauma. And you just can support in whatever way you feel you can do i think we just need to dive into it because that was a lot last episode and i think we are gonna get more into it this one yes so let's go all right let's get ready people places everyone in position september okay fit nick tara congrats on your amazing gcse results thanks miss you should think about applying to be prefects. You've got a real shot at it. They are. I can happen go oh. to work. You better get out first. Hmm? This won't show up if I have to find out we're dating. Oh. So we're dating. They met on sniffies. You'll have to be sneakier than that, or the kids will be saying you're in. Ah! I forgot about her. Did they not see each other when he, like, got back? I don't know. Maybe he got back the day before. They can walk to each other's house. I would assume, like, as soon as he got back, they would, like, meet up halfway somewhere. Uh. Also, this is embarrassing to be doing in front of everybody. Uh. Why are you so embarrassed of love? In the closet again? Oh, okay. Yeah, hot and heavy now. Sean Cody. He's going to walk in. Did you back on Saturday? Yeah. Do you want to do something? Uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't normally have a party or anything. I'm going to organize something. I'm sure there will be food involved at this party. Oh my gosh, not the trigger word. Uh, choose a place you both feel safe. Mention the things that have concerned you. Let him know you care about him. Oh, and this is an important one. Try to avoid making the conversation about food and weight. It's going to be okay to have Oh, you. Captain. Britain. Captain Carter. Captain Carter. The hell? Oh my gosh, is having a heart attack now? Grimes? They're playing Grimes right now? What the hell? I love this. I love this. I was making your sketchbook. Oh god, they're gonna get annoyed. Who are you eating lunch with today? Nick? Well, Don't be jealous, Tao. Don't be jealous. Oh God, what is he thinking? <laughs> My brain isn't good at the moment. I have a lot of rules about. I think he's dating Mr. Farouk. They were sat together when I came in. It was a weird flirty vibe in Paris. What are we doing for my birthday? Well, that is a surprise. Wish I had a boyfriend. <laughs> James, no. I need at least one single friend, okay? This lot have been third wheeling me at every opportunity. What'd I say? What'd I say? Yeah. The idea of it's nice, but um, it's just not what I actually want. We all want someone that understands us. I'm sure he'd love it even if it looked like a used tissue. Ew. Did you have to say used tissue for a boy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tori. Hi. Happy birthday. Did you talk to him? I'm trying to help. Are we at least almost there? We are almost there. Almost there. Okay. Shh! He's coming! Shh! Ta-da! Muna! Okay! Now we're playing Muna! Alright! I love this! The, the zoo? zoo? <laughs> <laughs> are they gonna see Mudang? And Pesto. Uh, uh, if I was Nick, I'd be like, get in here, boyfriend. I don't, I just think he doesn't want to remember this time that he's, maybe he thinks he's too skinny. Don't you hate when 
don't people call you ladies? I don't know. Teachers at school call us it all the time. <laughs> oh, no, looks like you're stuck <laughs> with me again. What does that even mean? Well, it's just so painful for you to have to hang out with us and not with your girlfriend. Oh, Clocked him. About me and I'm not like, bitter. You've just not been a very good friend lately, Tao. Oh! I was so sad about being single. What happened <gasps> to James? Wow. Wow, Nini. <laughs> She's else. Ush. <laughs> he's being obsessive. He's being obsessive and he's not being a good friend. If I was L, I'd talk to him and be like, I'm sorry. They were friends before. That's what they call it in Britain. I told you there would be food at this birthday party and he would get all nervous. Hey, should we, should we go somewhere quieter? No, I kind of thought you didn't really like Ben that much. Maybe. Yeah, none of you help him, but thanks. I love Tara as a friend. <laughs> been like so passive aggressive about us like all week. Maybe we've been ignoring him and all of our friends. I know you love Isaac and Charlie just as much as me, Tao. Friends are important. You know this. You got angry at Charlie for doing the exact same thing we've been True, doing. True, queen. Talking sense. I Wish it. conservatives would have that realization that Tao just had. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I'm very be mature, bad. very demure, I'm very sorry, mindful, I Tao. I hate that I do feel bitter. You will make it seem like being in a relationship is the most perfect, magical thing anyone could ever hope for. We love you, Thank Isaac. You. Yeah, he's ignoring Charlie, and now he sees it. Is there something wrong with Charlie? You know something, Ugh. and you're not telling me. What's up with him? Don't say it. How? You cannot talk to him about but it. But why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. Remember, more support is good. But then giving away people's secrets, not so good. Thank you, Gift, for the best birthday ever. <laughs> you reminded me of you. Uh, you are so cringe. Should we, uh... Did he pass out? Call it a day? Yeah. 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 Can do. Is this every jumper you've ever borrowed? Well, they don't smell like ah. you anymore, so... <gasps> now time for the big birthday present. Uh, very neatly. Okay. OCD. <gasps> Our supper leaves! Aw, that's very thoughtful. You like it then? I love you. Oh my- Is that- That's what's his face! Who? Oh my gosh, what's his name? What's his name? Everyone tell me what his name is! Jonathan Bailey! Jonathan Bailey! Is he gonna be like a love interest? Oh, these are children. I don't know. Charlie, you know I love you. I'm really glad we talked about all the mental health stuff. I'm just still really worried about you. Sometimes you just seem really sad. But I love you so much. I really want you to talk to someone. I'm sorry. Baby. What if my parents think I'm faking it? Maybe I could come with you. It might sound silly, but... Maybe that could help me. Too. Such a good boyfriend in person, Nick Nelson. Charlie, is it a bit late for Nick to be over? He's not staying long. I need to talk to you about something. It's really hard to say. My mental health has been really bad lately. I've been finding eating really difficult. And I think I've been like this for quite a long time. Maybe they could help. Want to get better. Oh, Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> no, we cry in every episode! Oh my gosh! Now we cry in every single fucking episode! Oh, I want to unpack again. To have the strength, A, to ask for help. Hardest fucking part. But then it's like, I guess I relate more to the the parents, especially the dad, the dad who was like just really wants to protect Charlie and how he feels like his kid was going through stuff. Oh, I'm crying! I can't. <laughs> how <laughs> his kid is going through such a hard time and maybe they didn't realize it or they just didn't really want to address it just to keep their kid safe and you like you hear all these parents are like, it doesn't matter if my kid's gay or whatever. Like I'm, I rather have them as they are than the kid that's not here anymore because they do something 
because of their mental health deteriorates and they do something they can't take back. Like it's very uh, sad and I don't know, very touching and moving. Yeah, they keep ending it on like the. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we all thought, yeah, time's not bad. It's gonna be fine, and we're crying every fucking episode now. Uh, He's doing the work, at least that seems like it at the first step. Props Nick. to Nick Nelson. Props to Nick fucking Nelson. Good boyfriend, good person, but that comes with having great people around you raise you. He's uh, definitely a product of the people that helped him through his life and showed him good examples. Yeah, his mother, his aunt. aunt. Who's Jonathan Bailey, though? I want to know who Jonathan Bailey is in this world, because could he be the maybe. doctor? Is he going to be the doctor? Maybe. Oh, maybe. That's weird that they're getting ads for doctors on Instagram. Yeah, what if he's a gay doctor? Targeted ads. They have the targeted <laughs> ads. Everyone, update your preferences right now. Can I get a doctor that looks like Jonathan Bailey? But yeah, and the sister too. Like, she she probably feels relief now that he knows it's out there. That's the other thing too. Like, it's scary. Like, once you put it out there, it's out there. You can't take things back. You have to fully commit to them at that point. So, good for Charlie. Like, I wish these kind of things were around when we were younger going through these like really raw strong emotions because i remember like feeling like there was stuff wrong with me like why wasn't i the same as everyone else but why weren't things working out the way they were for everyone else and that made me that's why what leads to my depression now and my anxiety am i okay that's something else <laughs> but you know there is more accessibility for things to things so i'm thankful for that Oh, there's just more representation, right? That's why rep representation matters. These types of things being seen, reflected back at you on a TV show can be the difference in some people's lives to take action in their own. So it's it's a great show. Nick's birthday, like, I just, you know, like, I don't know if this is just me and my TikTok, but it's like, I always get the ones of like to show the the, sh the shelter dog that was scared, skin and bones, and then it's like God. to be loved, and then all of a sudden it shows the dog happy, thriving, like enjoying life. Like it really yeah. is like to have any type of love, familiar love, romantic love, um, you know, friendship love, like it does change you. And Isaac, like, you know, it's not any of those besides friendship love, and that still is gonna help him thrive like you need a community like you have you need community we're animals that live off of connections of each other or someone i feel sad for the people who are alone but you know that's what we're doing online we're ba making our own communities so we're not all alone like we're here to help be there for each other talk to each other hang out with each other and that's new world yeah tao baby girl you're Flying a little close to the sun. You're getting obsessive again. Again, we know he has abandonment issues. I mean, that's what it is. Like, his dad's gone. He didn't have a say in that. He couldn't control that. He can control how he is with the people in his life. And he's just clawing. But he can't claw. Because that just drives people away. He's got a firm grasps. What is... Um... Is that projection? Clocked that. <laughs> Clocked that punishment. Clocked that punishment, that's by the way. So Clocked that I punishment mean. big. <laughs> oh, that's definitely projection. <laughs> All this stuff I've said is pure projection, and I, I think I'm in the, the mindset to know that. I'm, I'm not trying to be delusional anymore. I see myself, like I said, I, I see myself in Tao. And that's why I'm maybe I'm just so critical of Tao in the beginning. Like I was just like, this month, this kid, this kid. And all you guys were like, lay off Tao. He's nice. He's good. And now I see it. I've like season two, we came full circle. I realized I was looking into a mirror and then I learned to love myself. And now we're, we're in sync, baby. I, I think he had a breakthrough though. I mean, think the universe for l like she's Seriously. like i said i i said in the previous episode or before that that 
obviously she's mature like yes. she's she's had to grow up quicker than some of the others probably and she is i don't know just quick to those realizations more so than these young 16 year olds it's weird though she's acting like tara and darcy are more her friends than isaac and charlie because they were all friends in the beginning true she's like yeah i haven't even seen darcy or tara it's like okay but you see charlie over here bent over about to pass out go check on your little friend that is true because they were friends before tara and darcy right yeah. or were they all friends no i think they they knew each other but they weren't friends until like the show started when their first year oh, yeah 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 it was after her transition right yeah when yeah. Elle transitioned and then she started doing the girls' classes because they're separated by gender and that's cool. Yeah. And then that, that's when they became friends. Yeah. But this show has been heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, I kind of want some light, some levity, but you know what? <laughs> if I'm going to cry every episode, then I guess I'm going to cry every episode. Y'all are going to get some uh, emotions out of me, baby. Your own form of therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cry it out, baby. Cry it out. Baby, I cry every day. Give me a sad TikTok. I, every time I open TikTok. Should we do a series where we just watch TikToks together? I think we should. I'm going to make an account and just start sending Snapchat or Snapchats. Start sending TikToks <laughs> to the account and we'll just start going through them and view them together. Uh, Anthony, thank you for being here. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Uh, thanks you all for listening. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Yes, let us all know what you guys think. I, 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 am I the only one crying at the show? I hope not. I hope you I, all feel. The first two seasons were very. Like I Innocent? Uh, innocent, but like they were let. You were led to believe that something was going to happen and then like that didn't happen. It was just. Oh, that's just our trauma, baby. That's no, I know. our trauma. I feel like they were playing on that. Or at least it, that's what I felt like. And then now it's like... Double down. We're boom, going boom, in. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Well... Just kidding. Everything's not perfect. Uh, <laughs> well, more realistic, I guess. But until the next episode, we'll catch everyone in the next one. Talk to you guys all later. Bye. Bye. I hope you all feel good. Resources out there. Check it out. You're not alone. Make it, Your pal out here make, for you. <laughs> make, make good choices, make good friends. Yes, community. Bye, babies. <laughs> <laughs>